and Scott watching Free, TV, Free Speech TV on the Dish Network in Missoula, Montana. Hey, Scott, what's on your mind today? Yeah, hey, on your uh, your empathy issue, mm -hmm. I don't know if you noticed the guy, that, the conservative you were talking to, who was talking about you people. Yeah, Billy. Right. Exactly. And what I've noticed are people with without empathy, they dehumanize others, whether they have different skin color or look different or they're poor or they're homeless. Yeah, it's the that's first how, sign of a lack of empathy, isn't it? Exactly. And, and that's what I mean. And, and so, I mean, you could tell this guy had no empathy. And what that enables people to do then is to be to act malevolently towards those people. So you'll notice that, that some people will see a homeless person on the side of the road, and if they have no empathy, they you know they blame the, the guy for his issues rather than somebody with empathy that says, wow, there's somebody that needs help. I feel right. bad for him. He's probably got health issues or mental issues. And so these people without empathy I've noticed in life, they tend to rise to the top. I mean, a la Dick Cheney and yeah. Donald Trump, you know, because they're yeah. willing to do those things. Well, there's First a book about, is, you know, I mean, sociopaths, by definition, if you have no empathy or very little empathy, you are a sociopath. Sociopaths are people who don't, you know, who think that they're the only real human in the world. They're the only one who actually experiences real emotions. And, and, and there's a brilliant book called Snakes in Suits. Um, I'm sorry, I can't remember the name of the, of the author, but uh, I think he's been on this program at least once. And it's about how, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, how businesses are set up in the United States, particularly as we get more and more laissez-faire in our in our uh, economic structure. Uh, businesses are set up in, in, to promote sociopaths through the ranks. And so, while sociopaths may make up one or two percent of the American population. They may make up as much as 10 or 15 percent of the population of CEOs in the United States. And when you look at at polluting industries, oil industries or, or death industries, tobacco industries, weapons industries, um, uh, defense industries, you may find as much as 20, 25, 30 percent of your senior executives are sociopaths, high functioning sociopaths, very smart sociopaths, you know, sociopaths who can kind of hold it together in society and maybe even, you know, have a family and all that kind of stuff. But they're still sociopaths. They yeah, like what I've what I've seen in in just about any organization that I've been involved in is those people with those tendencies tend to rise to the top because yeah. they're willing to dehumanize others, and then that enables them to do whatever they have to do to get to the top. Right, they're they're willing to step on other people. I I call it the kiss up, kick down syndrome. You know, where they it's like Chris Christie. You know, kiss up to the guy above them, and then and kick down the people below them. And it's because they're kissing up because they are the most important person in the world and they think that person can help them. They're kicking down because they don't really believe that the little people that they had to climb over to get where they are are actually humans, actually right. have feelings. And, and so, so now the question is, is this part of our DNA and, and what has enabled us to succeed as, you know, the human race? Yeah. And are we destined to destroy ourselves because of this? And well, that's a damn good question, Scott. And I, and I think it is built into human nature at a certain level, and it may even be an adaptive characteristic in some ways, but not for a time. It might have been an adaptive characteristic when there were 40 million humans on the Earth, but I don't think it's an adaptive characteristic right now with 7 billion people and, and global warming. So, and particularly with our economic system. So I'm, I'm very, I share your concern. I think that this could be destroying our, our world. Scott, thank you for the call. Uh, thanks, uh, very thoughtful call. Thanks for watching Free Speech. We'll be right back. To watch more clips from our programs, hit the Watch More Videos button over here. And please be sure to hit the handy dandy subscribe button so you'll always be up to date. Tag, you're it.